2 Corinthians 3.18 And we all are being transformed into the image of Jesus Christ. I will never forget the interview I had with Dr. Bazaar when I was trying to come to Castle Hills. He looked at me and he took off his glasses and put them aside and he said, I can no longer pass high school because I don't have glasses. He said, with dyslexia, you have accommodations, you have you know, extended time. It's not because you're less smart. That's just, it's like, it's like glasses. It's, it's just what you need in order to do your best. And then he put his glasses back on and he said, now I can pass high school, I can go on to college, I can be the principal at Castle Hills. When I first came here six years ago, a school of north of a thousand students had diminished to 186. And the remnant of a core of teachers who stuck with it and hung with the school during its greatest time of challenge. Before I left the house, I told my husband, I'm going just to confirm that God's okay with me not taking this job. And then I was the worst interviewee ever. The first thing I said was, I don't want just another Christian school that has Christian in the name and then the kids come in and are ugly and hateful to one another and the teachers teach that not really talking about the worldviews that are embedded within the curriculum. And so he immediately set me straight and showed me how Castle Hills is different. I'm a different teacher for having spent time with him, watching him interact with students, uh, watching him encourage and say an encouraging word to students who are struggling that maybe another uh, person wouldn't uh, see that part in them. The challenges today pale in comparison to raising this school up out of its darkest hour. This is not our darkest hour. This is our greatest opportunity. And I'm not going anywhere. This is the best job I've ever had. And my greatest days are still before me because Jesus Christ has his hand on this place and he's the real leader. Don't look to me. Look to the one who's actually accomplishing this great work. To have administration like we have that seeks to make God first in everything we do and for it to reflect that way in the lives of the students to make those kinds of people. I think that's something that this nation needs a lot more of. There is a vacuum across this country when it comes to business leaders, academic leaders, following after God's own heart. So I think that's what Castle Hills, Mr. Pinkston, the leadership, the faculty, they're all about raising the kids up, not just to be nice, church members Sunday morning, but really making a difference in the world. And again, it goes back to what they taught us at Castle Hills, that uh, you integrate your Christian life with everything. It didn't matter what class you were in, whether it was math, whether it was history, whether it was art, whatever it was, there was some kind of biblical integration. And I think Castle Hills did a great job of showing that your Christian life isn't just segmented. It's not just for Sundays. It's for every day of the week, and it's for everything that you do. And Mr. Pinkson always says that we're going to be the greatest school in the state and in the whole galaxy, and I think there's truth to that. When I came to the school six years ago, we simply made a statement. We're going to build the greatest school in South Texas, maybe the galaxy. The kids believed that. They bought in before any adults or supporters. They grabbed a hold of that call, that cause. They believed in themselves before anyone else did. Now today, the rest is history. 600 kids on campus this fall and growing. Yes, greater days are ahead. The best is yet to come. Our vision is larger than life. Basically, from this patch of dirt, we want to change the world. I firmly believe the best days at Castle Hills are in front of us. Our community needs Castle Hills. Our city needs Castle Hills. The state needs Castle Hills. Our country needs Castle Hills. 
think the world really needs Castle Hills. It's imperative that we have institutions like Castle Hills standing strong, standing firm, and saying, no, these principles have served us well for either thousands of years or hundreds of years. And to do that, we're going to need partners who will give more generously, over the top generously, a life or a legacy gift. Partners who see that their investment is not only taking care of these amazing kids who walk the halls today, but for future generations, that this work and the weight of this work continues. And you know, today, what gives me more satisfaction and hope for the future, for not only these children's lives, but hope for the nation, hope for our world, is the fact that transformation is taking place. And slowly over time, my mindset changed. I made all A's for the first time ever my junior year, and I completely give God the credit for that because all of a sudden there was purpose in, in my academics and in my classes that I hadn't seen before. And so just a complete transformation. There was one student, and we spent some time together at a yearbook camp. I challenged some of the things she believed and she would question things and so we really got to know each other. But then all year last year she was just transforming into a leader. The emphasis on reaching a kid's heart, discipling students, that has been the biggest transformation. But I thought that was awesome how Castles helped me stretch my boundaries and uh, just push me to work hard at things that not even I knew I could do. They don't want to just give you the easiest path. The teachers here have earned the right speaking to our lives. We are here to serve each other, we are here to serve parents, and we are here to serve students. Students are now here to serve each other. This school challenges you to be more than you thought you could. These lives are changing, developing, strengthening, growing, becoming right before our eyes. I'm Luke Schmidt. Susan Covarubia. Matt Kraus. Mary Alice Spencer. Scott Norman. Becca Gardea. Nathan Mummy. David Schmidt. Ann Compier. Jeremy Samplaski. Dan Eason. I am Michael Pinkston, and I am Castle Hills. I am Castle Hills. I am Castle Hills. And I am. And I am Castle Hills. Castle Hills. Castle Hills. And I am Castle Hills. And I am Castle Hills. We are Castle Hills. and we're only getting started.